This is Brad with the Heritage Cast. You are checking out my first five days with the JK Boots Super Duty in Redwood. I've got to say these are absolutely incredible. Um, I went down to Spokane, Washington about a month ago. I had already had an order in and had a try on boot. It didn't fit correctly even with my anatomical foot and I've got orthotics um, from my doctor and JK Boots is willing to work with me. I went down, um, they fitted me in one of the largest sizes, a 13 triple or even 5F or something weird. Um, we were able to figure out the, the right size and I got these in about five days ago, threw my orthotics in there and it's been absolutely incredible. Um, what I was truly appreciative of with the orthotics and with the height of the boot, um, with all the leather that's inside of there, it's been absolutely incredible. Um, feeling the lift, it takes all the weight off of your knees and off of your lower back. Um, when you take a step and maybe your one foot's longer than the other or whatnot, it just kind of moves with it and um, you don't have some of the major kind of pain that you would have with something so soft. Um, I've been absolutely astonished at how incredible that this is. Um, it's got a Vibram 100 lug sole. I think the differences for me that I wasn't necessarily expecting was how um, smooth or um, split that this uh, this leather is um, for the, the gusset and um, I like it but it's something to get used to um, and I think maybe if I got a rebuild um, or if I put some new soles or whatnot on there I'd probably replace this with something more substantial um, this is kind of a personal preference side of things um, and I think the one thing I would want to get up, upgraded would be to have this, um, these stitchings in the back lined, um, with a liner, a uh, leather liner. Um, I understand kind of the concept of not lining or whatnot. There's pros and, um, pros and negatives about it, but I would definitely want to get it covered. I am not as appreciative of it. I think one thing that you really want to concern yourself when you size for the boots is that you want to make sure that your ball measurement is exactly correct because these stitches here limit how far that ball can actually be of your foot. And if it's not exactly to where it needs to be, you're just going to be pushing up against this, you're going to be as far out, and it's just not going to fit correctly. And so when it comes to fit with these boots, you really want to make sure you get the try-on pair or you go down to Spokane, Washington and you, you get tried on and know what your exact size is so that you don't have to get multiple remakes. Because I can definitely tell, even for me, this is a little bit on the, the smaller side of the of the, the stitches here, but if that vamp was any more tighter and I didn't wear them long enough, it would definitely be too tight. So it's, it's a definite concern, and then especially when it comes to, um, if you want to add orthotics, which some people do, some people don't, but if you want to do medical orthotics like I have, which I'll show you here, these medical orthotics are made to your exact arch of your foot, and for me, it's not just doing the arch itself, there's also pieces under here where they're doing um, a part of the bones of your of your toes. So they're moving bones and whatnot. But this just increases the arch um, and allows you to not overpronate or underpronate. Um, it specifically puts you in a, in a good spot. And even with the higher arches, for someone like me who's completely flat arches, this looks pretty high to most people, but it's actually not that high once you're compressing down the material and whatnot. And even with the arch itself, you're actually in total neutral when you do that. So it's just something that you definitely want to take account of and don't let any of the boot companies push you into something where they personally want you to be at a, uh, a certain level or they're not comfortable with orthotics. 
push anyways. You know, JK works with a lot of people with various disabilities who need prosthetics or orthotics or different conditions, and they were able to work with me. And multiple interviews, you know, they've talked about, Tim has talked about specifically, working with people that need orthotics or prosthetics. So this is really important, and, and don't let them push you in a certain way. Any company, all the Pacific Northwest boot companies have their specific quirks. They're all just as good as each other, but um, you do want to take account of that. Um, so these are the Redwood versions. Um, I'm really digging the um, the rough out uh, lowers. It's absolutely incredible. I've been driving a lot. This is my driving foot here. And this is five days of me doing stuff. I don't see anything on there really. I mean, there's a little bit of scuffness there, but not much. I think here there's a little bit of wear on the welt, I guess, of me pushing up against things uh, with my driving foot or whatnot and uh, a little bit of scrapes here on the on the welt but when I got them they're completely pristine even for a work boot that if you've seen White's boots their quality control is uh, something different um, these JK's even though they were traditionally a work boot going to firefighters and people with real jobs unlike me um, they didn't have anything there wasn't even one scratch on the upper leather or nothing was out of place. I mean, honestly, these are 700 bucks worth of workmanship or more. And Jake, I mean, <laughs> JK's doing this and then White says, what? You just spent 800 bucks and your boots going to have a ton of scrapes all over it. They're going to have to do better and hire some external quality control people. But JK, they're doing it and they're quicker than everybody else and cheaper than everybody else or at least almost to the same you know, not a cost, but um, for a work boot that you're going to be crushing up. And for me, I'm wearing this to do school and go to libraries and coffee shops and meet women. I mean, <laughs> I'm not doing anything fancy with these or any sort of work stuff or whatnot. So I was really impressed. Um, something that I was, ne was not expecting was some people may counter signal the... Um, back piece here and the amount of leather that I mean even pushing that's pretty that's pretty hard there that uh that veg tan oak oak tan leather that it's in the back of there for that heel counter is pretty substantial um that is impressive I mean I I haven't felt it until now but you can feel it it just kind of hugs the back of your heel um I'm not sure if I can turn on okay We'll try to look inside. Let's see if I can do this. My, the boomer vision is coming out now. Um, so those are the insides with no, no uh, insoles or anything like that. And uh, yeah, like I said, I would want to get that stitch covered. I think I may end up doing that and do a little custom sort of deal. I was concerned about it. It hasn't hurt me like uh, Wolverine boots have done. But uh, I definitely want to get that kind of square way or whatnot um let's check out this one while we're at it the boom revision's happening wow so i haven't actually looked inside these lights this is pretty nifty I'm telling you what i am absolutely impressed um these have been just a treat um to have and whatnot and if you've got messed up feet this is what you want um, something hardcore you can wear every single day. Um, something to think about. Um, the laces. So I've heard good and bad things about leather laces. They've been great so far for the past five days. But I can definitely tell at some point, right, they're going to break. Um, because that's something where you might want to become a connoisseur of leather. Leather laces. You can have like a ton of them and just kind of buy a bunch. And then when they break, turn them into gifts for people or something like that. But uh, this has been absolutely incredible. Um, something else, after I've had these for a couple of days, uh, Trevor called me and uh, directly spoke with me, which I was not expecting. Just driving, he's, oh, hey, how, how's your boot order going? <laughs> Tell me about what happened. And uh, he called to check up on me, and I was really impressed by that. Um, went over the details, how it fit, how everything worked and whatnot. And, uh, <sighs> I mean, honestly, none of these Pacific Northwest boot companies are going to do that. They're swamped with people. They don't have big customer service bays of people in, in, a, in a call center, right? So 
for JK, that's a big deal. But even for any big companies, it's a big deal. So I was really impressed by that. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and check out the next one. Hopefully I have some new stuff soon. This has been Heritage Cast Brad.